Hi, congratulations on your new RV. We're really excited for you. Please make sure before you're signing that you bring the following items with you. If you are a cash buyer, please make sure that you bring a cashier's check, no personal checks at time of signing, or you may bring actual cash. If you're a finance customer, please make sure that you bring proof of insurance listing your specific lien holder. If you need that information, please call us ahead of time. Also, make sure that you bring all valid driver's license of all persons that will be listed on the title. If you have a trade that you're trading in with us, please make sure that you bring your 10 day payoff as well as your title and all persons who will be listed on the title of that trade. Um, arrive 30 minutes early before your appointment time so we can properly inspect your unit and also make sure that you have the fridge on and running prior to arrival. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at 810-686-0710. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Good morning, this is Mike with Tradewinds RV Center and I'm here to congratulate you on your purchase of your Flagstaff High Wall 27KS. Here to give you a walkthrough on the unit, show you how to set it up and enjoy your camping season. There it is all set up, looking all beautiful. First thing you're gonna wanna do when you arrive at the campsite is to check your battery connection. After you unhook your unit, check your battery connection to make sure that you have power. Next thing you're going to want to do is use this hand crank to level your unit. Once your unit is level, you're going to use this hand crank to bring down all of your scissor jacks. And what you're going to do with these is just bring them down taut with the ground. They're not used to level your unit, they're just used to support it. You, that's a three-quarter inch socket you can get one for an impact driver or a cordless screwdriver you can put those down in a matter of moments after all four of your leveling jacks are down next thing you're going to do is grab these poles there's going to be four of them two for the front and two for the back one will attach up top the other will attach down bottom once all four of these poles are in, you will grab this spot on your slide and pull it out from the unit. It will pull out over top of this and set on top of the bars. You do the same thing in the rear. Set the bars in and again Use this to pull your bed out over top of those bars. Next thing you're gonna do is come around to here, bring those up on both your slides, or both ends of this slide, grab by the handle and pull your center slide out. Once all four of your or all three of your slides are out, your two beds and your dinette slide, you go along and underneath you can Velcro all of this. All the way around, you want to lay this part down first to protect your corners, and then bring this down over top of it. Velcro here. Velcro everywhere, all the way around the whole unit, several spots to pull down and Velcro together. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is pull this string and attach it to both ends. Same thing in the back. Take this string and attach it, it pulls your canvas taut. At this point we can go ahead and set up our power supply. There is your power cord. You take your 110 adapter that comes with the convenience pack, attach it to the end of your cord to plug into the power source. Also included in your convenience pack is your water pressure regulator. 
when you hook up to the city water connection you want to put this water pressure regulator on the end of your hose it's going to regulate the water pressure that goes in so that you don't blow out your lines here's your outdoor shower coming around here to your hot water heater Before we hook up our city water, first thing you want to do is plug this drain. Get that back in nice and taut. Hook up your city water. Open up your valve here. Once that valve, pull on this. Once that valve has a little water coming out of it, you know that it's full. When you empty it, you can pull this unhook, pull this all the way, water will come out, you can drain this, and it will drain all the way out down here in the bottom. Coming back around to the front of the trailer again, you have your outdoor kitchen, nice storage drawer. Over here, this is a rail that a stand sets on and your extra grill that's indoors comes and sets on. Quick connect LP here. Let's take a walk inside the trailer. What you want to do when you come inside here is go through and zip all of these from the inside. Go around your unit, zip up all of these corners on the unit. Indoors, we have our grill. This does not have pilot light. It is an electric light grill. This is your thermostat for your heat. Your AC unit. Works just fine. Down here is your microwave. Your tank checks. You can check the level of fresh water, gray, black, and your battery. Got some storage. You can hook these up top here. Coming down to this end, I'm going to show you some other features. Handheld control for a heated mattress. You can plug this in right here on the end of the bed. Both beds have the same. Also on both beds is a fan and light. Here's your light turning on and off. Here's your fan low. Your fan high. Put that in several different ways. Flip it this way. Flip it up here. All the way to the other end of the bed, right above you, wherever you want it. Here's your Dometic fridge. Three way. Turn it on. Electricity, gas, or set on auto. As soon as you, it runs on gas, as soon as you plug in, it becomes electric. The dinette will make a bed as well. I can show you how to do that in a matter of moments. Rolls out into storage. There's a table. These go underneath. And just that quick, you have another bed. That's about it on your 
Flagstaff 27 KS high wall. I do want to show you one more thing on the outside before I forget. You have two of these support brackets. All you want to do, slide it in there, snap it in here on opposite corners. This corner in the back corner or that corner in the front left. That's it. I hope you guys enjoy your trailer and happy camping.